Gemini meet your personal meeting assistant. This one's been there, I'm certain, for longer than a month. So I don't know why they're just making a blog article about it now, but maybe it was in beta before and they've finally fully released it. But Gemini is now activated inside your meeting. And what I really love about this is it allows you to ask it questions live and in real time. If you're using a note taking app or even if you're using Gemini to take notes in a meeting, and you wanna go back and ask it like, or you wanna work out what was said you know, two minutes ago or 10 minutes ago, we'll summarize the meeting so far. Can't do that with all the other tools because they've gotta like finish the meeting and do their summary and then give it back to you. Whereas Gemini is doing this live and in real time. So sometimes we'll get halfway through a meeting and we're down in the weeds, you know, trying to solve a problem with a whole bunch of people. And then we kind of ask ourselves, all right, let's, let's just check the progress we've made so far. And we'll ask for a set of bullets on everything that's been discussed so far. And from there, gives us all of those in a nice little bulleted list. Absolutely love it. Gems can now be shared. I'm sure you would have seen this. One of the most exciting updates to Google in the last month or so. And that is if you've created a custom gem, which is a custom bot inside your Gemini, you can now share that with your team. Now, these work a little bit like how Google Documents work and they're actually appearing in Google Drive as a document. So you can put it in a shared drive if you want. But if you have customized a specific gem which is like a custom set of instructions for gemini check out my other videos on the channel about how to set these up these are now able to be shared with your team so if you've got a big team and you want to create a gem which is like customer analyzer or a meeting transcript analyzer or you want to create a you know business strategy gem that anyone can ask things or if you're creating copywriting for the business and you want to create something for the marketing team to always have consistent copy. You could create a copywriting gem and upload your brand guidelines and your customer avatars and all those kind of things to it. Google just got exciting. ChatGPT, Claude, and all these other tools have had projects and other ways of sharing prompts and sharing collaboratively what people have been working on. And Google have finally switched on the one thing they needed to switch on to make Gemini an absolute killer. Go check it out. If you haven't checked this out, this is important. Go and check out Gems. Create one for yourself and then start sharing them with your team. If you're just getting started with it and you're like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. Well, join our mastermind and there's plenty of people in there who can help out. Okay, so next up, this is another exciting update. Not quite as exciting as sharing gems, but it is pretty exciting. And that is that Gemini is being rolled out to Chrome for all workspace users with access to the Gemini app. Now, what's happening here is Google are starting to build in Gemini to the Chrome experience. I haven't seen it yet because it hasn't popped up for mine. Half of my team have got it. I don't have it yet, but Chrome is starting to turn into more of an AI browser. And I suspect, you know, not only does Google wanna get Gemini in the hands of more people, but I suspect this is due to pressure from so many other AI driven browsers being way ahead of Google in this space. What you're going to be able to do is as you're browsing the internet, you're gonna have an AI window there. You're gonna have an assistant with you who's watching what you're doing and you can ask questions and it will see the context of the page that you're on and automatically include that as context without having to you know, cut and paste URLs or cut and paste text or having the, the app not be able to read what's going on. All of that is just gonna be there. So I'm very excited for this. It hasn't yet shown up for mine, but it does say it's been rolled out. And yeah, well, you can have context of not only your current tab, but actually up to 10 browser tabs, which is pretty cool and really looking forward to seeing this happening. So when is it gonna come out? Okay, it's blocked for those who've, who've signed for HIPAA. And when is it gonna be rolled out? On, if you've got Gemini switched on, so that should be everyone. And then Chrome, Gemini settings manages access to Gemini and Chrome. So I'm gonna double check in my admin panel that I can actually access that. All right, switch to Spanish because I'm currently in Spain. That looks like an API setting. I'm gonna wait and see till this actually comes out. Okay. All right, Gemini and Chrome is expected to begin general availability rollout no sooner than October 2. Okay, so we're still in progress on the rollout on this one. So mid-October, then everyone should get it. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.